Welcome, this is the AP Physics Workbook Solution. Here we have one point B, which is the position and the velocity. Okay, so here Angelica is running at 3 meters per second towards the bus that is 15 um, meters away. Okay, that, that's Angelica. She starts at zero, zero. Okay, so below um, is a table of Angelica's position. Um, at each second. Complete the table, then on the diagram of Angelica, create a motion map of Angelica's position at every single second. So this is the motion graph, okay? So at one second, she's at three. So this is at the first second, she was at one. So this is at one second. You don't need to label it, I'm just labeling it for you. The dots are the motion map, okay? Uh, at one second, she uh, this was at three meters, and this is at two seconds. This is at three seconds. She is at six meters. Uh, four seconds, she is at nine meters. Five seconds, she is at twelve meters. Did I do it right? Three, six. Mm. Did I do it wrong? Zero. Ah, at zero, she's one second. This is at one second. This is at two seconds. This is at three seconds. This is at four seconds. I was just off by one, okay? But there you go. All right? And she ends at 15 meters at five seconds. That makes sense better sense. So zero seconds, zero um, meters moved. Okay. So here now you want to um, plot this. Okay. So here you go. I decided to plot it for you. This is at your zero zero is right here. This is your one three. This is your two six. This is your three nine. This is your four twelve. And this is your five uh, 15. I'm just labeling it for you. You could connect it right there to uh, see it as a little bit better. Okay. Uh, 3, 9, and 4, 12. All right. Just to see it. All right. But it should make a linear line. Okay. Uh, let's talk about this a little bit more. Okay. Why should it be a linear line? Why? Because she has a constant 3 meters per second towards the bus, right? The bus. She's running in a particular direction, okay? All right, so here they're just asking us to just calculate this, and you could grab, uh, do not use any data from the table. Again, I'm not going to listen to this, all right, because I don't want to deal with fractions, okay? I'm just going to grab my own values, okay? Uh, the first point was the starting one, zero, zero. There's nothing wrong with using it. Um, point the second, the first point, the second point uh, was one three, so three minus one, no three minus zero, and one minus zero. So this becomes three over one, which is three meters per second. Okay, and the slope of the position versus time tells us about the velocity. How can you tell meters per second? Okay, and by definition, this is by definition, velocity is by definition the change of your uh, displacement mm, is the displacement is the change of your post. It's the change of your position mm -hmm, over the change in time. Okay. The change in position is called displacement. Okay. So the output here is your uh, y. Uh, okay. And your um, this is your output. Okay. And you could see this here in terms of just like velocity, if you would like. This was your slope. This was your input, and this was your starting value. Okay, and we know the output is by definition, not y, velocity, and we know that this 
is uh, the three is stands for wait, hold on sorry the velocity is the slope this is time and this is y final yeah okay now if you're wondering how this looks like on the formula sheet it is this one okay it's the first one on the formula sheet uh right there it's the formula it's the first one okay the output is this one is equal to its starting value plus velocity times t this is just the velocity version okay there's an equivalent of this in uh, distance version so I could write that if you would like okay so you could say that the x is defined as your x initial plus velocity t or you could say y is equal to y initial plus uh, v uh, times t that's it okay uh, there should be some subscripts down here, but the velocities should be the same. Okay. All right. So good. Good. All right. Let's look at, um, is that it for part B? Uh, yes, that's it. It's part C is making sure that we can calculate this correctly. Okay. Um, I just wanted you to understand how to get the positioning to with the velocity. All right. I I've, I wrote a version of it out here for you. If you like to see, okay? Um, there's a there is a one half t x t squared, but this assumes that there is no acceleration, okay? So, um, okay. So this equation that I gave you here was the second one, right? And this assumes that there's no acceleration, okay? That's how you can get um, to here. It's basically the second equation, but the acceleration becomes zero. Okay, good? All right, so most of the time you might see this, but this, you will always see this because there is an acceleration in always the y direction, and that is gravity, okay? But that's for the future, okay? Just making sure that you understand position and velocity behaves like uh, most of the time as y equals mx plus b. The slope of the positioning gives you the velocity.